So when I was a biomedical science student, no one actually spoke about how much you can earn after graduating from biomedical science or even what jobs you can do. So I really thought that if I don't get a first class in biomedical science and if I don't get into medicine or move on to something else, then I'll be on the streets and I'll have no money to pay my bills and that will be the end of it. But thankfully, that is not the case. And if you're studying biomedical science right now, I really hope this video can help you out in some way or form. What is going on, guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a doctor and a biomedical scientist science graduate studying in London. And in this video, guys, I have a real life pay slip here from one of my friends who worked in biomedical science. As you guys know, I myself also did work in biomedical science during my degree in biomedical science and also shortly after before I started medical school in various aspects. So I worked as a biomedical science lab assistant. I worked as a researcher. However, unfortunately, this is over probably seven to eight years ago now and I don't have my pay slips. However, one of my close friends was kind enough to give me one of their pay slips. They're currently working as a biomedical medical scientist and our pay slips were actually very very similar so I'm going to take you through his pay slip he's currently working for a private company in a hospital as a biomedical science assistant or, or lab assistant his role essentially in the lab is whenever a doctor takes a sample for example if they were to take a nose swab from a patient in order to test for any respiratory viruses or if they take blood samples from a patient and they want that analyzed they will then send that off to the lab and my friend will be working in this lab for this private hospital in order to analyze all of these samples. So as a sort of healthcare biomedical scientist, I guess you could say. So as a lab assistant, lab technician, whatever you want to call it in a private hospital. Now, what is the point of this video? Why am I actually sitting down to make this video for you guys? Now, the first main reason really is transparency. I think there is so much benefit and so much advantage in people in different specialties, different fields, sitting down and actually being open about how much they earn in a given field. When I was in biomedical science, or actually way before I decided to study biomedical science, not many people back then were talking about how much they're earning in their careers, what they're doing, what's their day-to-day -day life now. It is super popular right now on YouTube for people to sit down and do all this stuff, but it wasn't really back then. And when you're a 16 or 17 year old who's not entirely sure what they want to do um, you know, in their life, they're not so sure about what career they want to go down, I think it's so useful if we can all just sit down and be you know, open and honest and transparent, I think it really helps um, other people out, especially in the younger generations who are thinking about what they want to do with their life. And the second reason, like I said, when I was studying biomedical science, no one spoke about this. I think there was a certain, at least in my university, a certain taboo about talking about money and about finances. But it's really important, you know, if you want to pursue a particular area of biomedical science or a particular career, it is very important to know how much am I going to be earning? You know, I'll be sacrificing my time and investing my effort. It's important to know how much you'll be getting in return in response to that. So money in biomedical science and salaries wasn't really spoken about. And also what you can do after biomedical science. Again, that no one really, you know, told me. Everyone said, go do medicine, go do dentistry, go do a PhD, do a master's. But if you don't want to do those things, if you want to just start working, either because that's what you want to do, or maybe as a stepping stone to something else, it's important for you to know exactly how much you'll be earning. So this video is not going to be about what all biomedical scientists are earning. Like, that's not the point. I'm going to be showing you guys an example and give you sort of things to stimulate your mind when thinking about what you want to do in your future in biomedical science. I'll be very briefly showing you the comparison of how much I earned as a first year doctor uh, working in the NHS compared to what you can earn as a first year biomedical scientist again it's a nuanced conversation I'm not um, you know going to get into politics of how much doctors earn I've done that in various other videos it's just to give you guys again an idea about what certain people in certain industries are earning compared to others and also how much you can earn so with that aside let's go ahead and actually look at this pay slip here. and also what I'll be doing after showing you guys this pay slip so here is um, my friend's um, pay slip we're going to be breaking this down step by step and I'll be showing you guys exactly how much he earned and what that actually means. So the main thing here to note is how many hours they actually worked per week. So in this given hospital, he was working 37.6 hours per week, which is sort of the average amount of hours that a normal person here in the UK would work. So for 37.6 hours, he was earning a pretty good hourly rate, I'd say. He was earning £16.83 pence per hour to actually work in this given hospital. So this is actually, I think, around about twice the um, minimum wage here in the UK. So nearly £17 per hour for a first year graduate from biomedical science. He studied uh, in, a, in a university in London, uh, biomedical science, graduated and immediately just three years after graduating is getting £16.80 per hour. I don't think that's necessarily a bad salary, especially if it's your first job just pretty much immediately after graduating. That's not too bad. 
In comparison, um, after my first year of graduating as a doctor, I was earning about 15 pounds or four, no, 14 pounds per hour um, for, yeah, in my, in my career. So 16 pounds, 80 per hour is not that bad. So if we do the maths here, if we times 37.6 by 16.8, so 37.6 times by 16.8, we get 631, which is the same as here. So he got 632 pounds, 81 pence, but that is again per week. So if we times that by the um, how much he actually earns across the entire month, I'm gonna get my phone calculator here because it's a bit easier. So 632.81 times by four, his total salary for the entire month before tax was 2,531. And if you wanna know how much that is for the entire year, times that by 12, he was earning about just over 30,000 pounds per year working at this job. However, his actual take home salary, so if we look at the deductions, uh, including tax and national insurance, so the deductions that my friend was um, getting was 53 pounds 86 per week. So around 200 pounds was taken from him per month. So his total net pay for the week, this is after all the deductions, after tax, national insurance, whatever, his take home pay was £578.95. And again, let's actually look at how much that is for the entire month. So for the entire month, um, he was actually taking home £2,315 in his pocket, in his bank account. And again, I don't actually think that's a bad salary, guys. If you've just graduated from biomedical science, you've only done three years, and maybe let's say you're in a position where you were you, you applied to medicine, you didn't get into medicine or dentistry, or maybe you're just someone who wants to build up your CV and you want to build up your career and you actually are looking into working as a long-term biomedical scientist down the line. Or maybe you're just looking as, at it to get experience and to understand if this is actually what you want to do or if it's a stepping stone. Wherever you are in life, you're not going to end up on the streets, all right? This is what I believed when I was in biomedical science. There are so many jobs out there like this job where you can apply to and you, you can take home 2,300 pounds per month, but it's not a bad salary. After three years, immediately after graduating, my friend actually applied for this job in his final year of biomedical science. So his starting date was like two days after graduation. Like he literally finished his degree and immediately got the job. And that is, that's, that's fantastic. And again, the point of this video guys, is not to say that this is what all biomedical scientists actually get, right? It's such a varying um, field. There are so many things you can do. And I wanna briefly tell you guys about what my friends in biomedical science who study with me are doing now. As I said, for me, um, what I went into was medicine and very briefly showing you guys my pay. Um, after graduating, immediately after graduating, my net pay take home after taxes and stuff like that was 2,417 pounds. And this is before tax. I actually wasn't being taxed at this point in time because I had my tax-free allowance, but it ended up being after tax around 2,200 or 2,100 pounds eventually when I started paying tax. Now that's straight after graduation. A lot of my friends went on to do other things. For example, one of my friends went to work in publishing and they worked as a peer reviewer. So they worked in a private company again, working from home uh, on their laptop, um, helping to peer review different papers. Um, she was earning about just over 30,000 pounds per year. And that's fantastic. I had another friend who went to do a master's. So he did a master's in bioinformatics. Um, that was one year at uh, a university in uh, the UK. After that year, he immediately got a job after, which was paying around £40,000 per year, working as a bioinformatician. I have another friend who graduated with us who went into working as a clinical research associate. She's been doing that for a number of years, working in clinical trials in the NHS, and she's earning between sort of forty-five to £50,000 a year. This is fantastic. You know, they really enjoy their jobs. They did the same degree as me. Some of them went off to do further study, like doing a master's, like I said, and then working eventually earning 45 to 50,000 pounds. I have other friends who are earning above, way above 50,000 pounds after graduation. And if you guys want a full video breaking down maybe what all my friends did after biomedical science, let me know in the comment down below. But again, the point of this video is just to show you guys that there is possibility, right? You will not be on the streets. You can apply for a job go on LinkedIn, watch my other videos. I have a full playlist on biomedical science, the jobs you can get, how to actually apply for jobs, how to you know find the job you want and actually create your CV. That is all on there. And if you guys wanna briefly check out my website as well, if you're studying biomedical science, I have so much content out there that can help you guys do well in your essays. I have a full online course that is really popular that people watch to help them get first class um, essays in university. There's, there's so much content out there and there is so many things, so many jobs you can apply to. 
in order to do well after graduating. I hope this video has been somewhat informative for you guys. If it has, please drop it a like. Make sure you subscribe with the notifications on to never miss another upload. If you have a friend who is worried in biomedical science as well about getting a job and how much you're going to earn, please share this video with them and help them out too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.